Hello, friends. As I continue to drift along the serene waters of the Indus River, we now approach a topic that has sparked heated debates for decades, the so-called Aryan influx. Was it a historical reality or merely a myth passed down through the ages? For many years, scholars believed that the decline of the Indus Valley civilization was directly linked to the arrival of the Aryans, a group of Indo-European speaking people who migrated into the Indian subcontinent. But is there any truth to this theory, or is it just a convenient narrative that has been used to explain the downfall of one of the world's greatest ancient civilizations? To begin, it's important to understand where the theory of the Aryan influx comes from. In the 19th century, British colonial scholars, relying on linguistic and textual evidence from ancient Vedic scriptures, proposed that the Aryans were a nomadic people who migrated into India from the northwest around 1500 BCE. According to this theory, the Aryans brought with them their language, religion, and culture, and their arrival supposedly marked the beginning of a new era in the history of South Asia, the Vedic Age. This idea gained widespread acceptance, particularly because of the striking contrast between the highly urbanized lifestyle of the Indus Valley people and the more pastoral, warlike culture described in the Rig Veda, one of the oldest texts of the Aryans. The theory also suggested that the Aryans were responsible for the decline of the Indus Valley civilization, perhaps through invasion or conquest. But over time, as more evidence has been uncovered, this narrative has come under increasing scrutiny. As I float down this ancient river, I can't help but reflect on the complexity of the past. The idea of a massive Aryan invasion destroying the Indus cities is now seen by many scholars as overly simplistic and unsupported by archaeological evidence. While the arrival of new groups of people in the region is not in question, the nature of their interaction with the existing population of the Indus Valley is much more nuanced. There is no direct archaeological evidence to suggest that the Aryans violently invaded the Indus Valley or destroyed its cities. In fact, excavations at sites like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa have not revealed any signs of widespread destruction or warfare, which would be expected if an invasion had taken place. Instead, it seems that the decline of the Indus cities was already underway due to environmental changes, economic shifts, and possibly internal factors long before the Aryans arrived. But what about the Aryans themselves? If they didn't invade and conquer the Indus Valley civilization, what role did they play in the region's history? Most scholars today believe that the Aryans were likely one of many groups of people who migrated into the Indian subcontinent over time. Their arrival was probably part of a larger and more gradual process of migration and cultural interaction rather than a single dramatic event. The Aryans may have intermingled with the remnants of the Indus Valley population, and over time, their languages and cultures may have blended. As I glide through the waters, it's fascinating to think about how these different peoples may have influenced each other. The Aryans brought with them the early forms of what would become the Sanskrit language, as well as the Vedic religion, which would later evolve into Hinduism. Meanwhile, the Indus Valley people had their own rich cultural traditions, which may have left a lasting impact on the newcomers. Some scholars speculate that aspects of the Indus Valley's religious beliefs, particularly their worship of fertility symbols and nature deities, may have influenced later Hindu practices. Interestingly, some historians argue that the Aryan influx was not an invasion, but a peaceful migration. The interaction between the Aryans and the remaining Indus Valley population might have been one of cultural exchange rather than conflict. Over time, the Indus cities, already weakened by environmental challenges and economic decline, may have slowly faded away while the Aryan culture spread across the region, giving rise to the Vedic civilization. It's also important to remember that the idea of an Aryan invasion was shaped by colonial perspectives in the 19th and early 20th centuries. British scholars, influenced by their own experiences of conquest and colonization, may have projected these ideas onto the ancient past. They framed the arrival of the Aryans as a military invasion, mirroring the way European powers had colonized much of the world, including India. This interpretation may have overlooked the more complex, peaceful processes of migration and cultural integration that were likely at play. 
modern genetic studies have added further complexity to the story. Recent DNA research suggests that the populations of the Indian subcontinent today are a mix of various ancient groups, including the Harappans and later Indo-European speaking migrants. This supports the idea that the Aryan influx was not a violent invasion, but part of a long process of interaction between different peoples, resulting in the rich and diverse cultural heritage that characterizes South Asia today. As I sail along the Indus, it's clear that the story of the Aryan influx is far from settled. While the old narrative of an Aryan invasion destroying the Indus Valley civilization has largely been discredited, Questions remain about the nature of the Aryans' arrival and their relationship with the people already living here. What is certain, however, is that the history of this region is far more complex than we once thought. The myth of a violent Aryan invasion may have faded, but the reality is no less fascinating. Instead of a simple story of conquest and destruction, we have a rich tapestry of migration, cultural exchange, and adaptation that shaped the development of one of the world's oldest and most enduring civilizations. In our next episode, we'll explore the lasting legacy of the Indus Valley civilization and its influence on later cultures. Even after the decline of its cities, the ideas, innovations, and traditions of the Indus people lived on, shaping the course of history in South Asia for centuries to come. Join me as we uncover the enduring impact of this ancient civilization on the cultures that followed in its wake. For now, as the river carries me forward, I leave you with the thought that history is not always what it seems. The story of the Aryan influx reminds us that the past is complex, full of layers and hidden truths waiting to be uncovered.